back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. So excited for today's video, obviously, because I'm finally getting around to filming my apartment tour. I've lived in this apartment for almost a year and I'm finally getting around to doing my apartment tour. I'm someone who just doesn't like to buy a bunch of furniture for a specific space because obviously I'm renting and I'm not gonna be living here forever. So I don't really like to buy things on a whim and just waste my money. So I feel like whenever I move into an apartment, it just takes me forever to decorate it. And I just really wanted to make this space feel like home, cozy, aesthetic, pretty minimal. Hopefully this video can give you inspiration if you're moving into an apartment or home and you just need some decor inspo that's not super in your face. I have a very minimalistic type of style. I'm not someone who likes a lot of furniture and a lot of clutter. I just like things to be open, feel spacious, and give that cozy, homey type of feel while also being pretty modern. That's kind of like the vibe that you will see throughout this video. I will have pretty much everything linked down below that I mention if you are interested. A lot of these things are from home goods, so I can't link those certain items, but I can definitely look on Amazon for dupes, similar items. So this is one bedroom, one bathroom outside of Boston. I'm someone who likes to be super close to the city, but not directly in the city. One, because it's so much cheaper. And number two, just because the city is a little bit too much for me, a little bit too hectic, but obviously I love going into the city and it's nice to be so conveniently close. So I hope you guys enjoy this apartment tour and let's get into it. So when you walk in, this is an overview of the apartment. I love how sunny it is in here and I love these big windows because I do get a lot of sunlight, which is something that is so important to me because I thrive off of the weather. So love the natural sunlight in here, but when you first walk in, this is what it looks like. I currently have this nightstand right here. Hi, Cheeto. <laughs> I was gonna get a shoe rack and then I just never got around to it and I got new nightstands. And so I just put my old nightstand right here and it's kind of perfect for all my shoes. And then I just throw my bag on top usually. Do you wanna be in the apartment tour? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a nice little nook to keep my shoes, bag, keys, all that kind of stuff for when I head out the door. I didn't plan on keeping it here, but I am planning on moving into a house soon, so might as well just keep that to see if we can use it at some point. On this wall right here, I get so many questions on this picture. It's a picture of the Amalfi Coast in Italy, and I got this from Society6. Although I got this frame custom made, well my mom got it custom made for me. I think she did it at michael's i want to say but you can buy frames on society six as well i just ended up getting like the canvas with no frame which was kind of silly i don't know why i did that but i love this picture so much i've had it for a few years now i love the color scheme and i think it's really pretty i wish i had a little bench to go right here because that would be really cute so this is the kitchen area obviously have my trash right here very happy that I have a kitchen island because in my last apartment, I did not have one. It was kind of an island, but it was also the countertop. So this apartment has a lot more counter space cabinets, which I'm very thankful for because they're all pretty much all filled. So that's kind of an overview of the kitchen. And then I have a closet right here, which is also super helpful for all my jackets, just stuff that I don't want out in the open, obviously. Cat food, extra cat food, cat litter paper towels, Swiffer, sweeper things, all my coats are hung up, my vacuum, stuff like that. So that's what I keep in this closet. And then coming over here to the counter space, I don't really like clutter. So I like to keep it very minimal up here, like as minimal as possible. So I just have my little fruit bowl, which is from Target, cutting board that I don't even use. I primarily use that for decoration. I have other cutting boards that I use, but I think it looks cute there. And then I love to have some sort of clear jar on the counter. I feel like it looks very cute and sleek. So I have some oats in this jar and then some protein powder, which I use like every single day. Hey, can you stop? These were both like six bucks each at Target. So very good deal. I have all my knives my olive oil, my little butter dish, which if you don't have a butter dish, I swear it changes your life. I got that at Target, very inexpensive, and it's just so nice to have softened butter on your toast. I have all my utensils. I think this jar is from Target. I think I got it last year. 
really cute. I love the pattern. It was recently Valentine's Day, so I have some Valentine's stuff out still. This is a candle from Target. It's called Wild Berries and Verbena. It smells really good. And then I also have a heart towel still, because that was also from Valentine's Day. Just cute little decorative towels on the stove. I will say that these electric stoves are kind of hard to clean. Like if I spill water or something, it's always so hard to get it off. So definitely invest in like a stove top cleaner. If you have an electric stove, they really do help, but I feel like it's just always getting messy, but that's okay. So yeah, we have a lot of cabinet storage, which is super helpful. This is like a Lazy Susan. I have some extra dish towels in here. I think I have like extra candles and stuff in there. This is like my little pantry cabinet for breakfast stuff, vitamins, snacks, and then I keep some extra stuff up here. And then in this cabinet, I have all of my cups, mugs, although <laughs> all my cups are currently in the dishwasher right now. So it's like super bare in here. And then up top here, I have like pasta, rice, just stuff that I don't use every single day. I have all my spices in here, baking stuff, all kinds of cooking ingredients. I don't wanna bore you going through all the cabinets, but you get the point. I'm very happy with the amount of storage that I have because in my last apartment, I did not have that much. And then these shelves are my favorite part of the kitchen. I feel like they just bring so much character and I love decorating them for each season. I got some cute stuff at Target the other day for spring, so I'm gonna decorate them all cute for spring and add some color, but for now I have this little faux plant. I think that's home goods. This little pot is Target. Some books, which I think I got at home goods, and then anthropology. This canvas is Target. This plant is Target, and then I have a little cutting board, which I don't know where that's from. And then I have another book up there as well that's also Target. So I love decorating those shelves. I think it's like one of my favorite parts of the apartment. They're very cute. I also love the big sink that I have because in my last apartment, that was my least favorite part because dishes would just pile up. It was so small. You could barely wash dishes because the water would get everywhere. So we got a nice big sink, although it kind of it's bittersweet because I do let my dishes pile up. I purposely cleaned the sink all nice and shiny for the purpose of this video so you guys weren't grossed out. But don't be fooled because for the most part, the sink is definitely full. And then over here, I have another jar full of candy because like I said, Valentine's Day recently passed and I was on candy TikTok and this whole thing with the candy salad was driving me insane. So I drove to Target, got a bunch of candy, filled my jar, and I have to say, I'm surprised I have not gone through this a bit more because it's so tempting, but I think it just looks cute. And I feel like if you put some like Easter candy to change it up for spring, that would be really cute. So it's just a nice little decoration to have, I feel like, on your counter. Dishwasher, obviously. Fridge, which this is another favorite part of the apartment. Also, my ultrasound pictures, don't mind those. My favorite part of this fridge is the ice maker. I've never had one of those in my fridge. So that's honestly such a plus. So the island also has a bunch of storage, cabinets, I have silverware in here, water bottles, Tupperware, stuff like that in these drawers. Got some tulips, although I don't know what's going on with those. I got them at Trader Joe's the other day and they're not really staying up straight, so. Don't know what that's about, but clearly I'm very excited for spring. Got my ice water, which I need to take a sip of because I feel like my voice is going right now. So these bar stools, I think the company was called All Modern, I wanna say, and they came in a pack of two. So I do have another one, but it's at my mom's house in her attic because obviously I don't need four. So I have three, they fit perfectly. I just love them, I love this style. I had my eye on these for so long and before I even moved in here, I knew I wanted these. They're kind of a bit high, like they have two um, heights for these. This one is the bar stool and then they have like a regular sized one. I don't know how tall this countertop is, but I feel like the regular ones would have been too low. So when I sit in these, I feel like I'm kind of too up high, but it's okay, I guess they're really cute, I love. This material, I love the wood. I feel like it just brings some contrast into the kitchen. They're very sturdy. They weren't that expensive. I think they were like 200, I wanna say. Like I said, for a pack of two. So I love, love, love 
those bar stools. Oh yeah, and then my kitchen runner rug is from Home Goods. Very inexpensive. And then what I love is that the other side has this really pretty pattern. So usually when it's like spring and summer, I'll just flip it over. But for now I have it on this beige side. And then right here I have Cheetos automatic feeder, right? This is his favorite part of the apartment because he loves his food. But if you have a pet, dog, cat, whatever, get an automatic feeder. I swear they change your life. That way you don't always have to worry about being home to feed them if you're gone a lot. This brand is Pet Libro, I want to say. I got it off Amazon. I think it was like 70 bucks. So not super expensive, but not the most cheap. You can set the time, the portions and everything. So I can link that below as well. It's very good investment if you have a pet. So this is the living room area. Right here I have my favorite mirror. This is where I take all of my outfit pictures and I got this from Urban Outfitters a few years ago. I wanna say like four-ish years ago. I don't know if they still have it anymore but I can definitely link it if they do. I feel like a floor mirror is always a good investment. I just love to look at my outfits and I feel like it just opens up the space a bit more and just makes it look a bit bigger. I love the frame. It's very cute. It wasn't too expensive. I know floor mirrors can be crazy expensive. So hopefully this is still in stock because this is like one of my favorite mirrors of all time. If not, I can find one that's pretty similar hopefully, but that's where I take all of my outfit pictures. And then right here we have Cheetos Jungle Gym, I like to call it. I got this from Petco. He loves this thing. He's always using it. And then I have his little cat bed, I swear. He takes up a good chunk of this apartment. Cat bed here, this whole thing, he has another cat bed. Gotta do what you gotta do for your pets. This is like his favorite blanket. My Nana knit this for me actually when I moved into my first apartment and Cheeto loves it. So now it's on his cat bed. Got my TV, TV stand. I was debating on whether or not to hang my TV on the wall, but what kind of stinks about this is that you can see the outlets in the back because this TV stand is super low. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just leave it on the stand because I feel like that looks good. But this is Amazon, have some more stuff that I don't use every day, like phone stuff, chargers in these two little drawers because they do slide open, which is really cool. And then I have some coffee table books in the middle, my little Roku TV, not the best TV, but does the job. Also, I have to clean it. Oh my goodness, it's so dirty right now. Sometimes I play videos for Cheeto on YouTube of like birds and stuff and he thinks that he can touch them and he'll paw the TV. So gotta clean that at some point. Cheeto, you make a mess, huh? You're a messy boy. In this little corner, I have my fake olive tree. I got this at Home Goods, and I love this tree so much. I swear it looks so real. Like you really have to get up close to be like, oh, that's fake, <laughs> but it's so cute. Brings a lot of color and contrast into the living room. I was so happy when I found this because I was dying to find a fake olive tree that I really liked because I'm very picky about the shape, the height and everything. So when I saw this, I was like, you're coming home with me. So I know Amazon has a bunch, so I can link some ones from Amazon that I think are pretty similar. I feel like everyone has an olive tree in their apartment, but I don't know, just something about them. They're very aesthetic looking, very pretty. I also have these sheer curtains, which are also from Amazon. I recently hung these up and I feel like they just transform the living space. And I have this rod, which is also from Amazon. I'm trying not to show too much out my windows just for safety reasons, but these were super inexpensive. They're very pretty. And Amazon just has everything, you know? Got another cat bed for Cheeto, of course. Another food and water area for him. His scratch post. Like, oh my goodness, he has so much stuff in here. <laughs> Why am I just realizing this? So this is the couch area. I got this rug also at Home Goods very recently, and I love the two-layer rug type of look. I see that a lot on Pinterest, and I think it looks really cute. And this rug just matches the floor too well. I just felt like I needed some sort of contrast to kind of brighten the space up a bit. And then this rug underneath is Amazon. I used to have the same one in my last apartment. It was kind of a lighter color, 
but that one got so dirty so i decided to get a new one and get a bit of a darker color we have my coffee table set up this coffee table is target i got this a couple years ago i have a whole bunch of coffee table books that are home goods a few of them are target got some coasters which are from crate and barrel another valentine's day candle and then this tray, I think this tray is Target, and then I have a candlewick trimmer, which I got at a little gift shop nearby, but I know Amazon has a ton of those. So that's my coffee table. I also always get questions on where I keep Cheeto's litter box. This is how I had it set up in my last apartment too, but I have it on the opposite side of the couch that you don't see. So it's kind of hidden, which is very nice. So that's where his litter box is, it's out of the way, out of sight, because nobody wants to look at that. So it's tucked away where he can do his business, which I love because it's not out in the open. So that's where his litter box is. Here's my couch. My couch is from Home Goods. Honestly, not the comfiest couch, but does the job. I'm kind of mad at myself because I bought this on a whim. Because right before I moved into this apartment, I didn't have a couch and I was on the hunt for one that wasn't super expensive. So I just grabbed this one. Like I said, it's not the comfiest. I also didn't really think it through because it's like woven material and so Cheeto scratches it. So I put some scotch tape, not scotch tape, duct tape or packing tape, I guess, like all along the arms of the couch, which does help. But if you have a cat, a little life hack, you can't really see it, which is nice. But my pillows, are all from home goods this throw blanket is target and then above the couch i have this really pretty picture that's also from society six and i'm so mad because i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of wrinkly in my last apartment i had the windows open a lot and i think the humidity kind of ruined it but it's a really pretty picture of people on the beach i'm very into minimal artwork so i thought this was perfect for above the couch next to the couch i have this little end table which is home goods, some more coffee table books. This lamp is Target. And then I have a basket with some throw blankets. I'm pretty sure that's home goods too. And this blanket is home goods. So a lot of my stuff is from home goods. So if I can find dupes of it on like Amazon or something, I will try my hardest to link that below. So that's the living room. And then going over here, I have this little hallway this stool is Target. I have these tapered candles from Amazon and then the holders. I want to say they're from Home Goods. I feel like it adds a little bit of something something to this wall because it's super plain. I could also add another picture but never did that so that's good for now. And then I have my washer and dryer in this closet which is another favorite part of this apartment because they are huge and I can get so much laundry done. I don't have to do 50 loads throughout the week and my clothes dry super fast because it's very big. So that's my laundry. I like how it's tucked away behind the store so it's not out in the open. And then to the right is my bedroom. Here's a little overview. So I feel like this room is a bit incomplete because there's not a lot of things on the walls. Honestly, I just never got around to it. So the walls are very plain, but it's okay because, you know, I'm not staying here forever. And I don't like to buy stuff just for a specific space. Like I really want to have it for a long time, so I'm not just wasting my money. And I couldn't really find anything that I truly liked. So the walls are just going to have to stay bare for now. But here's an overview of my room right here. I have this cute little desk from Amazon. I recently got this because this wall was plain and I'm like, I need something here because i don't have a dresser i got rid of my old dresser because it was super old broken so i thought this desk was a nice little touch i have all my work stuff planner little candle oil diffuser this ottoman is from target in this corner i just have another basket which is home goods some throw blankets and also workout stuff like my yoga mat ankle weights all that kind of stuff in there so it's not out in the open. And then my curtains are Target. These are blackout curtains. Very glad that I got these because there's like a plaza right across from my apartment and the lights bother me. Like these blinds don't really block out a lot of light. So the blackout curtains were very nice touch. And then here's my bed. 
very girly with the heart pillow because obviously Valentine's Day just happened and so I had my bed all decorated for Valentine's Day. This blanket actually has hearts on the other side, but I just turned it over because, you know, Valentine's Day is over, gotta move on. But that's from Target, this throw blanket, this pillow's from Target, and then my sheets are also from Target, the Castle Luna brand. They're like the temperature controlling ones. And they're really good if you get like sweaty at night highly recommend i always get questions on my duvet so my duvet is parachute and then i have an insert from target it's the castellina brand very comfy thick it's not too heavy so you're not sweating at night all my pillows are from target as well super comfy my headboard is also from target so we got a lot of target going on in here these nightstands I got at Home Goods. My favorite part about them is that they have outlets on the back and so I can plug everything in the back because before I had it plugged like my hatch I had it plugged right here and it just looked so ugly with the cord so these were definitely a good purchase. I love the color. Got my hatch. These lamps are from Target which I got the other day. They were 12 bucks each which is such a good deal and they just add some symmetry which I really like. And then over here we have my closet, which I'll show you this half. These little door hangers always come in handy. I got those at Target. Just have all my clothes hung up. It's kind of very crowded in here because like I said, I don't have a dresser. So I have these cubes in here, which I got from Target. And then I just have clothes like shoved in those, kind of like a dresser, but kind of not. And then I have one on this side as well it's a very stuffed closet and then i just have extra bags extra workout stuff my hats and everything like that so that's my closet i mean it's a pretty good size but having a dresser would make it a lot better so everything was not so crammed in there so the last room of the apartment is the bathroom very very spacious my favorite part are these shelves because they have so much storage, they're a very good size, and I don't have a linen closet, so they're perfect for like all my towels and stuff. I have these baskets from Home Goods, which I have nail polish stuff in, my jewelry box, which is from West Elm, and then I have some everyday jewelry in these boxes, which are from Cezanne, like earrings, rings, stuff like that, so they don't tarnish or anything because everything is not real gold. I have more baskets these are all from home goods so they're all the same hand towels these little jars are from target it came in a pack of three so i have some q-tips cotton balls cotton pads stuff to take a bath like epsom salt bath bombs extra skincare and stuff on this top shelf i have all my laundry stuff and extra toilet paper here's my little vanity love the storage i keep saying i love the amount of storage only because my last apartment had like no storage so we got tons of drawers just have everyday stuff in here some extra skincare in this drawer makeup and then in this drawer i have all of my body sprays body lotions under the sink i have more skincare more hair stuff lotion and then a bunch of extra stuff like soap band-aids medicine all that good stuff. This is the little setup right now. I have all of my everyday skincare that I reach for every single morning, every single night, sitting on this tray, which is from Target. Got a little mirror. Of course, you gotta have one of those in the bathroom. A nice candle, my hand soap, and then a nice big mirror. I love how it has the LED strip lights already in the mirror, because it's very nice when you're doing your skincare your makeup and I like how it's warm toned and not cool toned because that can throw the color off of the whole bathroom. My toilet obviously this rug is from Target. I always take my slippers off because I don't want to get it dirty because obviously white gets dirty very fast and then over here I have my hamper. This was such a good investment because I never had one and I would just keep piles and piles of clothes in my room. And I was like, you know what? This is too much, I need a hamper. So this is from Pottery Barn, it has two sides. So I have like my lights, my darks. It was pricey, but I do love it. I love the style. It's very slim, chic, and I feel like it fits very well in the bathroom and I'll have it for a long time. So 
it was a good investment. My bath mat is Amazon. I always get so many questions on this. Super inexpensive. They also have different colors of wood. Would have been nice if these two matched, but that's okay. This stool is from Home Goods. I kind of just have that there for decoration. I bought it because when I need to reach certain stuff in the cabinets in the kitchen, like way up top, but I just threw it in here for now. Got my robe. My shower, obviously. I have a tub, which is really nice because I'm someone who loves to take baths. But my shower curtain is from Target. Pretty sure it's Threshold. And then also the shower curtain rings are also from Target. But yeah, I love how big and spacious this bathroom is because I spend so much time in here doing my skincare and everything like that. So this is another one of my favorite parts of the apartment. So that concludes the entire apartment i hope you guys enjoyed it and like i said in the beginning i'll have everything linked down below if i can find it on the websites and if not i can find similar items dupes everything like that in case you're interested and anything caught your eye personally i love watching apartment tours and home decor type of things to get inspiration and it's something that's become so fun for me like sometimes i feel like i would want to be an interior designer because i just like decorating so much and i love going to target looking at their collections and home goods so i love watching people's apartment tours, home tours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video.